When I hear the sound of the bike, the uniqueness of riding electric, it gives chills down my spine. I'm proud I made that. I'm Reza from Scopy Electric, and we are working on electric mobility and making Singapore's first ever electric motorcycle. Okay, welcome. This is Scorpio Experience Center. This is the bike that you see in the test. Uh, this is called the X1. Uh, if you look more closely, there's a few key defining features of this bike. The first thing is the LED headlight that you can see over here. And then something that only a sport bike have uh, is an upside down suspension over here. Right? So if you, look at, if you look along the side, you can see that the lines are very clean and very uh, futuristic. And as a rider, you can see also that we have a 7-inch full-screen, full-color LED display, uh, touchscreen. Going on to the other side, you can see our integrated drivetrain embedded inside this single side swing arm. This ensures that it's always maintenance-free, it's always minimum noise. And to top of the rear, there's this signature taillight. In Southeast Asia, motorcycles powered by internal combustion engine, or ICE, are the predominant mode of transport. However, they cause huge environmental damages. Over 80% of households in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam own motorcycles. Scopy Electric's goal is not only to convince Singapore's 140,000 motorcyclists to go electric, but also the rest of the Southeast Asian population. We have to start by realigning mindsets. First, we have to unlearn ICE and then introduce a new way forward. Riding electric is a completely different paradigm. The distinct differences in riding electric are the instant torque, there's significantly less noise, less maintenance, and definitely zero emission. In Singapore, all new cars and taxis have to be powered by clean energy from 2030. Also, our neighbor Indonesia is projected to have more than 2 million electric motorbikes on the streets. An electric bike is much more energy efficient. In conventional motorbike, 80% of the energy is wasted through heat. Whereas in electric motorcycle, 80% is used to move the bike forward. We use a data-driven, artificial intelligence-assisted approach. We have user diagnostics and markers to monitor speed, location, battery status, and nearest chargers. That means that when you get on, the bike will actually have the intelligence to tell you how you can better plan your trips and how much battery consumption you're going to use, accounting all operating conditions. I've worked on building many kinds of automotive products. My next bike will be electric, and that's incredibly exciting for me. Electrification is not the future. It has already arrived. 